We are going to practice on cloud crate today. I am on the cloud practitioner part, uh, so we will continue the practices. I think I was on the 7th. Okay, yeah, it didn't come to my home page, but let me show you practice it. Anyway, let's continue. I'll show you later. Um, I was on the NoSQL uh, database, which is DynamoDB. I was. Uh, I already watched the videos, so I will show you how to watch them. So here are the video concepts. Uh, first, you see the case, but I already saw this one, so you probably need to start from the beginning. Later, you watch the videos. This is the second stage, which is planning. Uh, you, after you watch all these videos, then you can continue on your plan. It's very uh, good guided and go step by step. So you again, you need to read the di diagram steps as well and to understand what was the issue. Um, Okay, uh, we will understand the difference between uh, SQL and NoSQL. We will learn how to create NoSQL table. Okay, once you finish uh, to see the planning, we can continue. This is what we will do first, create an uh, Amazon DynamoDB table, and then we will enter record, um, new record, and search for the records partition ID. Uh, and then, this will be guided part, and this part is what we need to do by ourselves. Okay, now then we will create a new user ID with a unique, uh, unique ID uh, and add a new attribute named rating number. Okay, let's start now. This is the practice, and we will follow everything one by one. It's uh, very well structured, so it's very simple. Um, let me see if there are any files. No, no files. It will guide you anyway, but just want to review it. Oh, uh, these are the objectives. Create new NoSQL database and record, add records. And then they will query the records. Okay. Start with lab provision your moment. <coughs> we will start the lab. <coughs> Sorry. And then we will it will open a new console. I will just drag this one out. It's easier for me. Now the lab is easy. We'll just need to follow the steps. Uh, my internet is a little slow, so sorry for that. 
Okay, so we will just call the Dynamo DB database first, and after typing Dynamo DB, then click Dynamo DB and go to the next one. And this one is a little simple, so I'll just create table and then go to the next page. Okay, let's do that both of them now. This is still trying to open. Okay, this is the Dynamo DB in the AVS console. Uh, because my internet is a little slow. I have to wait a little bit. Create a table. And let's get started. Under table name, we will need to type user uh, video history. And then under partition key, um, user ID, choose string, last date watched, and type choose type last date watched. This is string, this is last date watched. Okay, what was this string? What was it? Save the file and create table. Just need to go to the next one now. Default. This one was going to be number. And create table. Now this is getting created <coughs> until it's active and then we will click here and next one okay then update the settings Update settings, choose user video history, click actions, create item. Uh, user video history, create item. Okay, next step. Uh, under the attributes for the user ID attribute name type 12345ABCD and the last date was type this one here. Let's take it. This is the code. Okay, go to the next step and concept is you create items which are records with attributes, this is store data, you can store data by custom video leaving it to it. Um, okay, so what one was entire next one.
add new attributes to a string, go to the next What's the video ID? Another, create another attribute, click the expand and new attribute button, and then choose string. Okay, then go to the next step. The language. Next step, another attribute list, supported device, supported device types, Click plus beside the support device types attribute in the radio field type Amazon Fire TV. Amazon Fire TV. And the next one is insert field expander button again and then another field list to string and next one in the value field to the next okay we will insert here another from here Amazon Fire tablet and create items another one I think our table is ready now. Okay, in the left negation pane under the tables, what was it? Click the user ID. Let it record again. We can edit and again click add new attribute to expand the drop down list to add another attribute. Choose number, go to the next step. After okay, we'll click here and add a new attribute which is number. Last stop time. Fine. And we will save the changes while it is saving. I think we are almost done. Um, click to expand, scan query items. Okay, we'll scan now. Click query table, query on the user ID. Partition key type to user ID and choose greater than 
under the last paper, so let's keep. Okay, let's go step by step here. Scan. Here is the scan. Here choose query. User ID. One, two, three, four, five. User ID. Six, seven, eight, nine. And greater than. Greater than. Item to return one. Okay. Last day for which click one. Next step. Under items return, the user course return, go to the next step. Okay, we saw that one. Change the query criteria into the user field type ABCD5. Nothing will return. Let's see. ABCD5. ABCD5. Sorry. Return item is zero. Okay, this is the, not the one we created, and it wasn't created obviously. So click the scan tab, click run. Okay, we will scan tab. We will run. One return. Preview. Okay. Okay, so this was the last one. Okay, now we will go to the practice section two. Do it yourself part. Create a new user. Okay, Dynamo, leave it table name. The table name, the first one was the one we have, I think. Create a new user item with a unique ID. Okay, this this one probably is the one that we could create a new user item with a unique ID, add a new attribute named uh, rating number, and then validate new user item with user item with a unique ID. Oh, we'll just create the new user item. Number rating okay. Okay, so it doesn't ask us to create a new uh, table, as I understand. I will just check this one if it's working. So user ID copy here, table name. This must be the table name. Come on. Item 
is the right thing. Okay, I think I can fix this one. This is the user ID. And this is the this track. Okay, that was it. This was easy. Okay, we'll just finish it here and click exit. So it get, goes, so I'm on the cloud practitioner. Um, I think I did um, 7 out of 12. And we'll just see what's next. So this was what they were asking for. Uh, I'll just set this one here, this one. They are building a city. I don't really understand much about these games. <laughs> so I'm just practicing the um, AVS Cloud Practitioners, but this is the part, I think, fun part maybe. Okay. I think it gives the um, kind of feeling of a game, which I'm not really interested in, but anyway, uh, it may keep you motivated. I don't really understand why I, I am collecting these. I'm not going to play the game, uh, but I'm learning. This is what interests me. Um, okay. Can we go back to the girl again? Or I think she was going to say some things. City is looking nicer anyway. <laughs> City got rich. Um. Is it where we check the progress? No. Cloud practitioner solution factor. I haven't done any of this, but I think it was involved maybe. So progress. Okay. Let's go to the next one now. I will show you this part in the next video. So I will see you later. Bye. Thank you.